Sir, uh, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. So, lots of changes coming in, particularly on certain, you know, uh, consumer-sensitive uh, sort of items, food yeah. items like pickles, ketchups, toppings, yeah. sauces, and, you know, uh, even yeah. things like kajal, agarbatti, etc. Your thoughts, I mean, the, the newer rates of 12% that the council is now talking about, are they closer to the current effective rates of taxation? I don't know. I'm not aware of what are the new rates and what, what items. It's very difficult for me to... Answer. But the good thing is that the government has realized that food is an important part of a common man's basket and things like ketchup and all are used by uh, not just the rich but the middle and the poor class also, you know. And separately, I think we need to give first to agro-processing because it provides a lot of jobs. <coughs> it supports agriculture, so from that point of view, it's, uh, it's a good move. So at 12%, would you think this would be a fair rate of taxation to keep for a lot of things like ketchup, I mean, uh, toppings, sauces, achar, and, you know, food mixes, as I mentioned. Do you think 12% is going to be a fair rate of taxation for I this part so. of the, the food market? It's been reduced from 18 to 12, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think that's, that's a good move, you know. Okay, overall, sir, how would you rate uh, industry's pre pre preparedness as we are heading towards July 1? I think the industry is well prepared in terms of um, the bigger players. Uh, the problem is with uh, the smaller players, you know, uh, trade um, and uh, wholesale and all that. You know? We've also seen, uh, you know, changes uh, with respect to, let's say, for instance, restaurants, where the threshold has been increased from 50 lakhs to now 75 lakhs. So, I mean, the government hoping to sort of keep the SME uh, world sort of interests in mind as well. Yes. Are you expecting, uh, you know, any major disruption, sir, come the 1st of July? Mm, to some extent, there will be some learning curve. So there will, I can't call it a major, but there will be some disruption. And if you talk about Marico itself, I mean, what is the approach to now dealing with the current stock and the current inventory? Uh, how are sort of your vendors gearing up and what would you say is sort of uh, the overall... Yeah, I think some of some, some amount of impact we'll have on, this, on all the players in terms of... <clears throat> so we'll have to bear some losses in the short term on our stocks, but that's okay, you know. I think we're looking at the long-term benefits of GST. So we're talking about these losses coming through for sort of for, for a quarter or less than that, no, more than that? Of, you know, I'm talking of uh, stocks, you know, what was stocks we're holding, you know, okay. or likely to hold in the you know. Okay, can you, can you give us some sense on, you know, the, the sort of loss that you might have to look at? I don't know, frankly, I'm not the rest of the number. Okay, um, so final thoughts. I mean, anything else that you'd like to hear from the council or from the finance ministry? No, I think is there any, any other pending resolved resolve issues? Because otherwise, we are all set for first July. Okay, all right, Mr. Mariwala, we'll leave it on that note. Thanks so much for joining in. So, lots of reactions.